Nagaland Sokal ag advisor or PJP leader im kong LM Chun pa ajay 16 April de tay laga official quarter ko ima de press conference matigina PJP laga kilaf state te khota kan juli thagya opor khota krishe. Im Chun kushi ki tay congress sugude 30 sal nishna thagya shi aro state te subsidiary district congress committee president bhi krishe. Idu pra tay jani ase congress laga irada kan. PJP ge ala kalak jaga pra tek pishi kuri ase kui gina im Chun pra lush kushi ki PJP laga kilaf inzam dalia sobto hosan होय पार्टी के क्रिश्चियन लगा खिलाफ असे कोइ थगे ओपोटाई कुशे के स्टेट लगा 60 एमएलए सब क्रिश्चियन मानु असे आरो निजो लगा रिस्पोंसिबिलिटी जानी असे कुडे कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन लगा खिलाफ काम होय असे ताय गांथिक क्रीडे कांग्रेस के अटैक कोइ गिना इमजन पा कुशे के कांग्रेस लगा सोका पा 50 60 और 70 ते नागा मानु के की क्रिश इदु याट असे आरो नेरु लगा एरोगेंस सिमिले नागा मानु के दिक्तार दिया कुशे कांग्रेस लगा मैनिफेस्टो कोइ गिना आर्टिकल 15 और 16 चेंज करबले क्वा पा कांग्रेस पार्टी दो होमोसेक्सुअलिटी इनकरेज क्रिया से कुशे एज यू ऑल नो एंड वेल अवेयर ऑफ हो आई एम and how I came along. My only repetition is uh, most of uh, you are aware that uh, my uh, prime life was in the Congress and I served the Congress party nearly about 30 years. I was also the longest uh, district congress committee president in the state. Besides uh, other uh, organizational boss, I know the international congress purely wealth, and I don't deny that I was ex congressman. For that matter, perhaps uh, most of our 60 members in the present house are ex-congressmen. Today, in the parliamentary election, the Bharatiya Janata Party was and is being attacked from various quarters in fact this parliamentary election in Nagaland is uh, NTPP as NDD and International Congress they are the two political parties who are contesting PGB is not contesting But the NTPP candidate happened to be our consensus and a great principle, uh, a great candidate, rather. Before I joined the PGP party, the PGP and NTPP being a pre poll alliance, they have uh, set up Ms. Pangnun Kungyak as the consensus candidate from PGB to represent the Naga people in Rajasabha. And the voters time, this time round, it was a turn up in TBB to set up the own candidate for the Lok Shaw. And they have, uh, among themselves, chosen Dr. Champion Moray as your official candidate. And their decision was conveyed to PGP party, which the PGP party has fully accepted and endorsed. So Dr. Champion became our consensus candidate. Second step, the Chief Minister and his leadership have taken the opinion 
of all the 60 families of the house. Political party as well as the individual capacities, they have also fully approved and endorsed the candidature of NDPP candidate Dr. Champion Mori. The people of Nagara, especially in the press as well as in the social media, as some element of uh, even the church organization, started targeting on the BGP party in the state, which I feel somewhat uncomfortable because some of this opinion were untenable, nor to the reality. nor in conformity to the reality, rather. So here we are meeting to clarify some of the points I have in my mind. And I thought that Naga people deserve to know what is the PGP party mean to Naga people? And why Dr. Champion, the NDPP candidate, should represent the Nagas. Those are the two areas I wanted to share. Over the years, especially during the last five, six years, we were going through the incidents of uh, religious atrocities across the country. But when we check back the fact of the situation, most of these incidents were not that the fact, but rather manufactured elsewhere. Christian population in India is uh, microscopically small while comparing with other uh, religious communities. Ours is only hardly 2% I think of the total population. Whereas the Hindu population, they are saying that it is about 80%. Whereas uh, we have a constitution of India where freedom of religion is enshrined. As a fundamental law, but such a huge population, maybe the biggest population in the world, except China. Our Northeast states, mostly uh, Christian, but in the mainland India, the Christian population is uh, very, very negligible. Percentage is also very insignificant. So supposing in your village, it's a Christian village, one or two percent converting into Hinduism. Naturally, you feel uncomfortable with the vast majority of your village. And yet, you have a guarantee that there should be an equality and freedom of religion. I do admit that there are instances of uh, such incidents across the nation, but not necessarily all these uh, newspaper and social media reports are factual. That is one. I'm also a Christian as good as all of you. I should be defending my own fact. But again, as a Christian, I have to speak out the truth. My religion takes precedence over my political affiliation, that you all know. 
therefore i should defend my fat that is my uh, belief but i am not the one nor you are not the one to believe or to accept everything as a gospel truth no you have to check back with the facts I would have the proven evidence. Only then you take a decision. So I claim that all these uh, reports in the social media or in public domain are not to the facts. There is a rather religious tolerance. The other day, the BJP government in Assam. They have enacted certain law mentioning this uh, witch crash, witchcraft, and then the uh, 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 magical healing in this and that thing. We discussed in our parliamentary meeting. We brought into the assembly that. We have a constitution, and then you should not encroach nor infringe the constitutional provisions. There are Christians in the Assam also, and they have a right to their fat, and that way we pass our resolution in the assembly. Whereas in our Christian fat, healing is one of our instrument. That is what Jesus has taught us. When he was here in Earth, so in Christian faith, healing is one of our important element. There is nothing wrong, but it is good, as you say. Therefore, we have passed that resolution in the house. As a Christian dominated state, and as a Christian, hundred percent of the sixty Malays are Christian. We are aware of our own responsibility, and therefore, where significant constitutional infringements are being committed, we used to make our prisons feel that this is not correct. So we are doing like that. In this election, so many concocted uh, concocted stories are being. Uh, Inflicted on the Bharatiya Janata Party. Okay, that's all right. Only that we too have an answer to all this, uh, such unfounded well allegation against us. We too have an answer. We too have a reason to defend. Then how about the Congress Party in action? They should not forget, because memories are still fresh in our mind. What Congress government has done to the Naga people during 1950s, 60s, even to the 70s, I am constrained to remind myself and post down to the, my memory lane. In this regard, it was Congress government, it was Congress leadership, and it was a congressman, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, who said that we need to all the rivers run into blood by the Naga blood. I don't care. I couldn't even in the assembly, and in twenty one. Hold on, twenty. Nehru's Iroquan stand has cost the Naga people very, very dearly. Even if you want me to forget it, I could not forget it. It is still fresh in my mind. All this uh, atrocious atrocities. Committed under Naga people during 50s and 60s and 70s, 
were done squarely by the Congress government. Congress government means Congress party. They are the one who committed all such unbelievable, untold stories on the Naga people. Our church in the urban areas and in the rural areas were turned into military concentration camp where all these atrocious actions, criminal actions, were committed, inflicted against the Naga populace. I have seen by my own naked eyes. I have come across in person when Nehru ordered military action against the Naga people in the 1950s, mid-1956, asking the military people to go to the extent possible so that Naga populations were totally inhaled the chief of the army staff who confided to Nehru, Sir, Mr. Prime Minister, this is not a military conflict. Khan will not solve the Naga issue. It is a political problem. It has to be handled politically. I know what Nari Rastamchi, where will win, even this a change happened, they are a close associate of Jawaharlal Nehru. They all advise Nehru that Khan will not solve the problem. That's how Nehru changed his posture towards the Naga issue. <coughs> when Zabu Bizo called Naga village chiefs convention here in Kohima town, in 1951, the delegates' turn up was, uh, has shocked Nehru <coughs> and its intelligent community. It was more than 2,200 uh, something. They did themselves, decided unto themselves that a plebiscite is essentially required to conduct for Naga independence. It's a long story. Anyway, to cut short. At that time, there was no root except this Chumukitima to Tima Okohima. There was no root. Ankami Zabu Bizo, he walked Lane in prayed up the Naga villages, walk by walking, by walking. He could enter his foot to each and every villages, and such a huge crowd came by foot to Kohima. And they had purposely and intentionally decided that a plebiscite is essentially required. So we'll go for plebiscite. The intelligent community, at that time it was only a duty tractor posted in Shalom. He was here in Kohima. He himself got shocked that Bizu could organize such a Huge public meeting at that point of time. He accordingly reported to Jolan Nero. They have to organize supper setting that crowd so that Zabu Bizo's uh, idea of plebiscite should be suppressed. That's how Naga People Commission got started. It's just a long story. Anyway, Kamla Bintia, 
the Congress regime, the Congress party, organized the Naga People Convention in the name of Naga People. We have seen, we have seen, Dakota Plain will come to the convention place, drop Russian to the convention is, liquor was overflowing, which we have never seen. Then the Naga People Convention could be organized three times. One in Kohima, another in Mogokchong, uh, another in Ongma village, and another one in Mogokchong. With the patronage and indulgence of the government. The Congress government. The 16-point memorandum was also drafted by them. Original drop. Mr. Todd was there. Yes, he is yes, in Malik, and then the Mr. Todd is in Todd. Both of them written in the memoirs. What had happened? In lieu of the Naga independence, Nehru wanted to give it to statehood. Naga freedom movement was uh, suppressed. They thought it was suppressed, even though they could not suppress. The intention of the Congress government, the philosophy, the political wisdom of the Congress party became revealed. Who, which party has turned Naga Church into a military concentration camp? Congress party? International Congress? And what today they are talking? Here in their manifesto, I got it from somebody. They wanted to amend so deeply Article 15 and 16 of the Constitution of India. <coughs> they wanted to approve the activities of the LGBTQIA. What is that? A long one. They wanted to approve it. It is the manifesto of the world. It is the manifesto. Congress party wanted to cook in for Naga people homosexuality in Nagale, which is a Christian dominated state. Ninety nine percent of the population are Christian. Let us go to Holy Bible also. Roman chapter one. You start from verse twenty one to thirty two. Especially you go through 32, verse 32. Saint Paul, Apostle Paul, was commissioned by Jesus Christ specifically for us, for us, Gentiles to the Jews. We are Gentiles. The New Testament was actually the framework of Saint Apostle John. A ball. We believe in it. Word of God came through him to us. After committing uh, unimaginable atrocities, criminal atrocities against the Naga people for more than two decades, they are also aware that Nagaland is a Christian state. They wanted to encourage homosexuality against the tenets of the Holy Bible. Here, PGB stands. We don't interfere in other religion. I got elected five times consecutively, from 2003 to 
2023, I was a member of the House, and I'm still a member of the House. All the 60 members are Christians. We defend in our fact the Parada Janata Party never asked us to convert our church into army camp. No, never. Without telling us, Congress Party has already done in Nagaland, including my own village, Mount I have seen by my own eyes. My parents were tortured in that in our church. My church building, village church building. There, most of our uh, parents were tortured. Flying forward, keep inside the church. Sacrilege against the tenets of the holy church was committed by these people. No other than the Congress party in its calm. And what they are talking today. NTPP party is also a born again Christian party. They have nominated Dr. Champion Mori as the own candidate. Where we have intolerance. And we are supporting it. If he will be elected, no doubt. There is no doubt. BGP government, Narendra Muti, will become the Prime Minister again. Chambin Mori will represent the people in Lhasa. That is 100% sure, 100% sure. If we talk too much, we are bringing trouble only for us, but nobody else. By amending Article 15 and 16 of the Constitution of India, Congress Party wanted to encourage us for homosexuality. Now what is this? PGB is against it. We are against it. We shall never do it. This is the message I wanted to convey to our people through your court of justice. I'm sure through your court offices, my message and the PGP party will go down so that it will be uh, good tidings for our state and also for the PGP party. That is one aspect. Another aspect of uh, which I wanted to share with you is uh, to have a harmonious relationship with the political party which is governing the nation. Naga people and then the state of Nagaland, it is our system the producing a state. We are rather uh, in the category of consumerism. And therefore, we need to have an emotional relationship, not only politically. And therefore, to keep the union government and good uh, book of uh, people, and then the all should be keep in their good book so that mutual benefit should derive out of our political understanding in its dynamics. That way I wanted to convey my message through you. Thank you very much.